Tesla is rapidly ramping up and expanding. When someone purchases a Tesla, it means they did not purchase another brand, which means Tesla ate their market share. But whose market share is Tesla mostly using? For starters, we believe that any brand that is generic and developed for the sake of it is no longer viable. Tesla will devour them all, because Tesla offers, or will offer, a cheaper, safer and better alternative for the consumer who is concerned about value for money. It may take some time for the consumer to catch on, but not much. Brands that lack attributes such as tradition, prestige, history and class which consumers are ready to pay more for. On paper, Tesla will outperform every other electric vehicle on the market. Tesla will always offer the greatest range and best performance as well as a slew of technological innovations that are unrivaled. In this video, we'll explain why General Motors must accept defeat to Elon Musk's Tesla or risk bankruptcy. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to ensure you never miss another video from us. Let's get this started. GM is one corporation that lacks all of the things we think of. Anything GM can do, Tesla can do better and at a lower cost, especially when Tesla begins to offer a dozen or so different models instead of just four. Tesla will simply be a better bargain in every way, and Tesla will soon be selling standard range vehicles with their in-house LFB batteries. Before long, we mean well before GM ramps up, which is how long it is. It's a long way for GM to acquire even a million EVs every year. And when their electric Hummer begins catching fire like the Bolt, since they went with pouch batteries, their brand will undoubtedly be on fire as well. Of course, because GM has a mass market brand, it must undercut Tesla on pricing, unless they go for their extreme names like Hummer or Corvette. Aside from that, it's a mass market. And Tesla, not GM, is the mass market EV brand. And by the time GM reaches a rumored 1 million EVs per year, which they will very certainly do before going bankrupt, Tesla will have likely taken so much of their ICE market that there will be no market left for them anyway. However, Tesla is eroding GM's market share, so their ICE sales continue to decline and they lose more economies of scale. Less sales with greater relative OPEX transforms profits into losses, which when combined with additional debt appears to be a definite path to bankruptcy. GM will almost certainly have to downsize all the way down, which means they will lose support from the UAW or the White House and there will be no bailouts. But even if that wasn't the case, what else is there to save? Why keep a company alive that manufactures cars that no one wants? Is this a realistic possibility? Isn't that insane? Let's not forget what Lord Keane said. The government should pay workers to dig and plug holes in the ground. He actually stated that. And governments are now primarily based on Keynesian economics. The approach of kicking the can down the road and hoping for the best is exacerbated by modern monetary theory. But we doubt it would work. Instead, the government would be better off forcing people to buy GM vehicles or rewarding them with enormous subsidies or refunds. Oh, wait, that's exactly what they're doing. The Build Back Better EV bill is already GM's bailout. Furthermore, the government is not made of money, only currency. The faster Tesla ramps up in the United States, the sooner GM is gone. Not only is Tesla expanding Fremont by 50%, but they're also nearing completion of this gigantic new state-of-the-art factory in Texas. Even with Tesla ramping up, they still can't meet all of their demand and have a massive backlog, which will only grow if and when EV incentives kick in. There could be another million pre-orders for the Model Y in the United States, which could take more than a year to fulfill. Do you believe that a million clients will buy a GM while they wait for their Model Y? Will they keep their current vehicle for another year? That was all rhetoric. In addition, the Cybertruck will compete with vehicles such as the Chevrolet Silverado, with pickup trucks being GM's most profitable market segment. However, if GM sales fall, they will not be able to sell enough to cover the operating costs of these plants. Because profit margins are already so tight, economies of scale are required. So if sales begin to fall, OPEX increases substantially until they're forced to close a factory and another and another. In 2016, GM sold over 10 million vehicles per year. By 2020, that figure had dropped to less than 7 million dropping around a million dollars every year on a steady basis. That is total global sales. In the United States, they fell to 2.5 million cars in 2020 from 2.9 million the previous year. Year on year, there is a 14% decrease. We are aware of macro implications as well as supply difficulties such as chip shortages. But this is a low-cost brand, and this isn't Tesla's market, is it? According to Kelly Blue Book, the average transaction price for the four US GM brands, Buick, Cadillac, Chevrolet and GMC in January of the 2021 calendar year was $44,204. In quarter three, Tesla's was $48,000.
However, keep in mind that Teslas have no gasoline or maintenance expenses, making them less expensive to buy than GMs in the United States. But roughly half of GM sales come from China, and the Chinese are developing a massive domestic EV market there. Sure, GM has a joint venture with a willing death trap, but GM doesn't care about your safety. However, we believe China is GM's most profitable market. Allegedly, the Chinese consider Buick to be a distinguished brand or something. Tesla is also popular in China. GM even has an electric Buick in China, but don't get too excited because it only has 177 miles of range and looks terrible. GM is not a trendy brand. Tesla says, with their local EVs, China will devour GM's Chinese market share. What does GM have to battle for over there? A few electrified Hummers? They took a bread knife to a nuclear battle. We hear that GM will release 30 or more electric vehicle models, yet we see nothing. Other than the Cadillac Lyric and possibly an electric Silverado, they can't even come up with models. GM is a garbage brand with garbage cars. They can't undercut Tesla. Tesla will eat them up and spit them out. Tesla is less expensive and superior in every way. GM can't compete with their electric products since they're completely ignorant about the technology. The CEO routinely lies through their teeth, but she is well-connected, so much so that the President of the United States will willingly lie through his teeth as well as to reinforce GM's lies. They must also be lying about a lot of other things. They clearly cannot be trusted in any way. Mary Mary run for Biden's job next. She clearly has what it takes to be a great politician. GM is a generic corporation that manipulates the system. They don't provide excellent products for the customers. They've met their match and they're in big trouble. You might believe they're faking it until they make it, but the bank is faking it until they break it when they go bankrupt. We believe they'll end up incurring excessive losses. We're not sure how they'll handle their hundreds of billions of dollars in debt. Many will still need automobiles and they may not depreciate as much as people believe, simply because they are ice. Although there is always the issue of energy prices to consider, but there just won't be enough EVs to go around, nor will there be enough PHEVs. As a result, there is a likelihood that consumers will not default on their ICE vehicle debt, which is probably a good thing, because otherwise it could lead to a financial crisis. We believe GM can go bankrupt without bringing the banks down with them. We believe there will be a lull in car availability with people holding on to what they have until more affordable electric vehicles become available. PHEVs are included. And depending on when all of this occurs, robo-taxis may be able to complement some of this as well. However, this will happen before the tiny Tesla is mass-produced. Anyway, let me know how you see the GM unfolding. We believe their doom will be proportional to how quickly Tesla can ramp up. And that's all we've got for now. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and up-to-date news videos in the future. We'll see you in the next video.